So Vince Cable says he plans to tackle what he calls an irrational cult of youth as he makes his bid to become leader of the Liberal Democrats. The 74-year-old has told The Times that his age and experience are an asset, adding that the current sober mood in the country means now is the time for an older leader. So is the age of a political leader important? Joining us to discuss this, the Navarra media blogger and senior editor Ash Sarkar and also John Rental, chief political commentator at The Independent. Ash, to you first. Is there an irrational cult of youth? I mean, speaking as an irrational youth here, it seems to me that Vince Cable is really shadow boxing both Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, and also other kind of left-wing political figures like Bernie Sanders and Melanchon. They all qualify for a bus pass, but their support, Jeremy well, especially Jeremy Corbyn, skews very mm. um, young. So I don't really see a problem here. But, but he, he's responding to the fact that a lot of people have raised eyebrows at the thought of somebody 74 starting to lead a political party when we have seen a real surge in young voters, uh, a real surge of people supporting Jeremy Corbyn, who, who is indeed older. Do you, do you not see where he's coming from, that, that he feels that people are going to regard him as too old? I think he's already making excuses for the fact that the Lib Dems are polling so low. It's not about his age, it's the fact that their ideas themselves are not fresh. He's got a lot of experience, but it's bad experience. People remember the Lib Dems for yellow-bellied capitulation to the Tories' austerity agenda, they remember them for a failed electoral reform referendum, and they remember them for betraying the student vote that got them into power in the first place. Uh, John Rentoul, uh, is he making excuses, or is age really important? Well, I mean, you know, let's, let's be blunt about this. He is making the point that, uh, you know, some people in the Liberal Democrats uh, feel still rather bruised by the fact that Ming Campbell was pushed out of the, the leadership of the party, uh, allegedly for, for being too old, uh, and he was younger than Vince Cable uh, is now. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Ash is quite right. Where is this cult of youth? I mean, we used to have um, Tony Blair uh, David Cameron and Nick Clegg, they were all, they all, you know, came to power in their, in their early 40s. But uh, today's generation of politicians are much older than that. And the paradox is that it was, you know, David Cameron and Nick Clegg who uh, put up tuition fees. Um, and it was David Cameron who uh, absolutely refused to touch uh, the benefits for pensioners uh, that Theresa May, aged 59, uh, put in her manifesto to try to um, redress the balance between the generations, perhaps, and uh, we saw how that worked out. We have, we have Macron, though, don't we, Ash, in, in France, a, a young leader who's energised the country? I mean, you say that, but in terms of the protests that followed Macron's victory, those are often led by the very young. Because just because people are young doesn't mean that they've got long-term political thinking. What young people in France are very concerned about is that Macron's neoliberal agenda, one that would result in potentially hundreds of thousands of redundancies in the public sector, would strengthen a Le Pen candidacy in 2022. So I think that framing these issues as simply a matter of generational divides or demographics misses the real ideological divisions that exist in our society and the fact that economic shifts have been affecting different people at different times. So what we see are class dynamics played out along generational lines. So, so you think age is totally irrelevant? I don't think it's totally irrelevant, but I think that it is a incorrect framing of the situation that we find ourselves in. So young people have been disproportionately affected by increases in rents, for instance, right? But that's been a bit of a slow burn and it's been exacerbated by things like right to buy. It's been exacerbated by the presence of speculative capital in the property markets. So it doesn't just affect young people, but it disproportionately affects young people. To place it within a framework of purely age, I think, misses the point that real structural economic changes are needed and that they're going to benefit everyone in the long run. John Rental, do, do you think Vince Cable can, can, could spin his age as something actually really positive for the young? This is somebody who's got a, a strong economic head on his shoulders. He's lived through periods of boom and bust. He perhaps, dare I say it, knows more than them. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you, you have to dare to say things like that uh, uh, these days. I mean, I think Ash is right, though, that the age of the politician... Uh, isn't necessarily relevant. It's what policies they they propose. But I do I do I do disagree with her. I do think there are intergenerational uh, issues of fairness between uh, you know the distribution of resources between uh, pensioners and students, uh, for example, 
uh, which are real problems that, that need to be tackled. And I think you know, the age of the person who is promising to tackle them is, uh, is irrelevant. And I think uh, you know, Vince Cable is a very clever and uh, an able politician. I think the, students, uh, the student vote will hate him for what he did on uh, tuition fees uh, in the coalition government. But uh, that was because of his policies, not because of his age. Mm. I, mean, I mean, Ash, isn't experience, though, a really useful thing you know whether or not you agree with the person uh, they, they've lived through a lot of stuff that you haven't lived through they've experienced a lot of stuff they have life experience that that, that younger people can only hope to have uh, is, isn't it worth considering that fundamentally I mean you call it experience, I call it assessing someone on their political and policy record. So the amount of time someone has spent making bad decisions if anything plays against them in my book Again, this isn't dismissing Cable based on his age, it's dismissing him or at least critiquing him based on his history. I think that we've seen him at the helm of a failed austerity project, a failed ideology, which is centrism, which is kind of becoming less and less popular. And what people want now is change. Now, Jeremy Corbyn and Diane Abbott and John McDonnell are three very experienced politicians, but their ideological agenda, their worldview is very different. And that's what people are looking towards. Those ideas are fresh. And again, it's got nothing to do with the kind of uh, body that's expressing them. John, do you think that's right? Do you, do you think that, that, that Jeremy Corbyn and Diane Abbott uh, are appealing to the youth because their ideas are fresh or, or just because they've got well, a, a fresher way of delivering them? No, but I mean, because their ideas are, you know, happen to, to meet the, the needs of the moment. I think that's much more... Uh, that's much more uh, the, 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 the secret of their you know, success. You've, you've and, got to change, you've got to, you've got to be fluid, you've got to move with the times. Well, they don't, but no, but the whole point about Jeremy Corbyn is he hasn't changed. I mean, the reason uh, young people uh, in particular like him is because they think he's, he's genuine, he's principled, he sticks to his principles, um, because he's always, he's always held to the same ideology. Uh, you know, throughout his, his political life, he hasn't, he hasn't developed or learned at all so he's he's no advert for age as uh, as as experience but then uh, you know there, there there's no fool like an old fool and, and uh, you know my my uh, my experience uh, as the representative of the old old people on this uh, on this program my experience in politics hasn't hasn't made me uh, any any noticeably wiser <laughs> i like it okay i think we're going to leave it there it's a lovely point to stop it john rental uh, and ash sucker thank you both very much